Yeah. All right, look at this hose. I'm gonna replace that fuel lines, these fuel lines. So I'm just gonna cut it and then I'm gonna remove this splice right here. And then I'm gonna install just a universal 3 8 hose here and here and put clamps right here. Cool stuff. And this one too. So this is a pain, but this is how you replace these fuel hoses. You gotta cut them and then you gotta splice these fittings off and then you can install new hose on and put clamps on. It's a little bit of a pain. So this is part of how I'm doing it. I'm just cutting this off and then it's gonna look like this and then I'll just slide the hose over it, the new fuel hose and then the clamp. This is how I did that one right there. So that's how you do it. We gotta replace these hoses. They're pretty old and they're 40 years old. So I'm almost done with the uh, fuel hoses right here and just putting everything back together. They're brand new, all connected. And then I cleaned this pre filter that goes to the distributor, so it's all cleaned up right now. So this one, you're all covered poly? Oh, that's not nice. I don't know what you mean. No, this is the toilet. So I'm gonna be installing these tail lights. This one is already cleaned up and ready to go. Uh, bef before installing, I'll probably just polish these reverse lenses a little bit. But this is the dirty one. That's how that one was. And I just cleaned it up, so. I'm gonna do the same to this one. Leonid is fixing the BMW, the rust right here. Now it's all dry. He sanded it off to bare metal. Here's the rust dissolver. Now sanded it and paint it. And I'm doing the bends right there. Painting some parts and doing a bunch of stuff to that car. Pink. Leonid putting love to the BMW. My favorite color the is pink. pink. Look at that pink. Yeah. Almost like pink Pantera. It's like. Pepto-Bismol. Lick it. Oh, oh, why did you do that? You were trying to get my camera, didn't you? Ah. <laughs> Gavna. So this is the before with these aftermarket taillights. How old is she? Like a couple months or just maybe? I think like not even a year old. Wow. Like about a year old. I don't Cutie. Know. Her birthday was May 21st, 2021. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to wipe something off you. Stop shaking. Yay, look at that adorable kitty. <laughs> yeah, she's probably the reason why you're getting a good, good mileage today. Gas mileage. Yeah, only reason. Let's yeah. check. 21, not bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back in the garage. I'm going to be installing a brand new thermostat on this thing. There's a, a box for it. All right. So we're gonna do that. And then I have this housing that's all cleaned up, restored. All right. And we're gonna, you know, I painted it and I sanded it before that. So it's gonna look really, really nice. And we're gonna go ahead and install that. And before that, I have this hose that I bought. It's a foot long, so I have to cut it because it's gonna go in between this housing and the actual uh, engine side right there. So I have to replace that little hose for sure. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to install this housing back the thermostat is brand new and i have this new hose installed as well so it's gonna be nice all right so here's what's going on leo is washing the car with his amazing kitty right there and uh this is a new belt that i got for the alternator so we're gonna be installing that but take a look at how amazing this car looks with these original tail lights it's a totally different look looks just awesome yeah amazing 
Look at that kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Wow. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Yakubovich. All right, guys, so the belts are replaced, and uh, I'm gonna keep that belt off the one that's uh, for the air pump because the air pump is trash. So I'm gonna keep that belt off, but I installed the alternator belt and also. I see you, Leonid, over there. What are you What are you doing over there? You're interrupting my video over there, guy. You crazy guy. I see what you look like on the video. Yeah, exactly. I look really, really good, you know, right here. Sweaty and like like a grease monkey right here. It's crazy. Yeah, engine mounts ready to go. Long quarter. This is the old mount. This is that stripped bolt, unfortunately. Ugh, these engine mounts are a pain in the ass for some reason, but here this one is original Made in West Germany. And that's what it says Right there super flat Comparing to this one. It's pretty insane Yeah Stalling you one now well, today is just not going as planned. There's a bunch of things that I'm doing. I'm removing a bunch of suspension parts because those are getting replaced. And uh, right now I'm trying to get the uh, uh, this idler arm and it's just all rusted in and I've been banging on it, banging on it for over an hour now, trying to get this thing to come out. There's literally a piece just rusted inside. So yeah, a bunch of fun. This is crazy, guys. What a pain. What a pain this thing is. I was fighting with this thing for a long time. And it's still trying to fight me. This is insane. Yeah, and this is original piece. Never been replaced. Took me a while to get this thing out. Let's go, come on. There you go, finally. Oh boy, this took me forever. It's crazy. I got the tray out i started cleaning it already the, this is the worst part of the tray and then right now i'm just cleaning everything right here all the leaves and i'll be putting fluid film uh, all over this uh place and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh, restore this battery tray i'm gonna sand it down paint it and then put a lot of grease on it and then reinstall it back on the car all right, so I cleaned this area as much as possible from all the leaves and junk, and I'm gonna spray fluid film everywhere here. That way it will never ever rust through. It will be all protected. This is really important. Nobody will see it because it's gonna be under the battery tray. Just really good stuff to do, guys. So I have this battery tray, I sanded it and now I'm soaking it in rust dissolver. Okay, so I have this thing restored right here. I mean, obviously there's a bunch of pitting on it, on this battery tray, but I repainted it and now I'm gonna put grease on it and we're gonna reinstall it right over there. <laughs> 